I think it's safe to say that for most of us, our normal routine day has gone out the window. Seriously, I've got a whole new vocabulary. I understand the difference between social distancing, isolation, and quarantine. And the bad news is relentless. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. So under normal circumstances, a daily routine has tons of great benefits. But under unnormal circumstances, circumstances as such we find ourselves in today, it is incredibly important. Because here's the thing. You've got what's called an uncertainty threshold. Everything that you thought was dependable, everything you thought was a norm, all of a sudden has been thrown on its head. This in turn with all the other uncertainty that's going on, you know, you got to get work done at your job. Are you going to have a job? What's going on with your family? Are your parents okay? Guys, what this is doing is it's triggering in the brain the fight or flight response. I start watching the news. I fall into the rabbit hole. Two hours, three hours pass and I've just read about 20 articles on the same thing and guess what? My fear, my anxiety levels are shooting up. So the first benefit of having a routine is that you give yourself an anchor. You have a feeling of control. And I've been in that situation, high stress going into combat. And it was something that I thought as a Marine, a young officer, you know, I made sure my Marines were taken care of. And that's one of the best things you can do is to look after others. Cause guess what? You're not thinking about yourself. But the other thing here is that again, you're simply focused in on what you can control. I couldn't control that. We're going to be going into another country and going to war. You can't control what's going on out there right now. You can add, you can do a little bit and that's what you want to focus in on the bit that you can control. And with the routine gentlemen, you can actually set out a list of things that you're going to throw out, do throughout the day and you can control that. Now, this feeling of control helps us to reduce stress and that's the next benefit of having a routine because it can be something small like what are you going to have for lunch and that leads to a huge fight with your spouse. You get upset with your kids. You don't want that to happen. I mean, we're just simply talking about lunch here by actually setting up a routine, setting up a schedule, doing meal planning days before or at least that morning deciding, hey, what, this is what we're going to have for breakfast. This is what we're going to have for lunch. This is what we're going to have for dinner. This saves you from actually having to go in there and stress out about something small and you can save your energy, which is the third point I want to highlight. You can save that cognitive energy for the important decisions that need to happen here soon. Your cognitive energy, your willpower, you've only got so much per day. View it as a glass of water. As you take drinks of this throughout the day, if you drink that entire glass of water, first thing in the morning, guess what? You don't have anything to drink the rest of the day. The same thing if you use all of your energy early on. And guess what? When you're checking out the news, when you're falling down that rabbit hole and getting all amped up, your body is using that energy, that fight and flight. Again, when you've got a routine, you know, okay, I don't have time to focus in on this. I've got this, this, and this laid out. So speaking of having things laid out, let's talk about prioritizing. That is doing what's important first and focusing on the big wins. So if you're familiar with the Pareto principle, 20% of your efforts yield you 80% return. But let's go into the deep Pareto principle and that's the 20% of the 20%. Basically, 4% will yield you 64%. And that's where at the beginning of your day, when you've got the most mental energy, you want to focus in on the big wins, the things you can control, the things you can do to further to enhance your life. And by the way, if you're not familiar with the priority matrix, I've got one for you here. I'm going to link to it down in the description, but you want to focus in on what is urgent and what is important. Right now, everything is screaming for your attention. It's saying it's urgent, but is it truly important? You're going to find most things out there are not important and that's what you want to make sure to prioritize. The things that are important and urgent and then right after that actually almost equally important, things that are important but non-urgent because those are the big things that are going to help you take your life in the right direction. Now, I know a lot of you guys are curious, Antonio, what's your schedule? What I want to stress here is my schedule is not set in stone. This is something I aspire to and that's the key point is that you want to put something down and try to meet it. But it's okay if you don't meet it exactly or if you fail, at least you tried, you wrote it down and you adjust it to reality. So right now I'm getting up at 5.30 a.m. I get up, shower, use the bathroom, start making coffee. At 6 a.m. I have coffee with my wife. We just like to spend 30 minutes together talking. This has been something we've done for a long time. At 6.30 I am now exercising right now into yoga, doing body weight exercises. At 7 a.m. I'm making breakfast for my family and at 7.30 a.m. I'm getting dressed for the day. At 8 a.m. I I go into my first company team meeting and this is something that's really important because I've got people all over the world. They're on advanced 
time zones over in Australia, the Philippines, Ukraine. And so it's something that I meet them early in that morning. Then I go in and I film. And that's one of the most important things I've got to do first thing in the morning. Sometimes it slips to the afternoon, but filming videos, this is really where I get my 4%. It's the small thing that I do, which yields the big return. Hence, you guys watch the videos. It is so important to my company and I try to do it as early as I can, although I fail a lot of times. Then I'm getting lunch at 12 p.m. and I like to eat with my family. Just having my family around me is really important and one of the, the whole reasons I set my company up, company up in a small town and I've got an office 800 meters from my house. At 1 p.m., 2 p.m., I'm back in at work just getting things done. 3 p.m., I'm wrapping up work. This is when I like to have most of my meetings. So, if you need to do a phone call with somebody, I recommend near the end of your day. It doesn't take as much, you know, cognitive power. At 4 p.m., dinner prep, already back home. 5 p.m., family dinner. 6 p.m., 7 p.m., I've got this for relaxing. We've been enjoying movies. And 8 p.m., getting the kids ready for bed. By 9 p.m., I'm trying to get into bed myself. Now, one point about my routine that I want to stress is that I try not to work more than seven hours a day. I know some of you guys want to work more or you think you need to work more, but I focus in on results. So, if you're new to working from home, if you have a team, if you own a company and you've got them working from home, focus in on the results. It's not the number of hours. It's about what they're able to get done. Case in point, I've got a new company I launched called Vitaman. I've got a project manager, Gavin. I meet with him once a day for 20 minutes and we focus in on everything he's accomplished. I'm not tracking his hours because guess what? I don't have time to track his hours and I can't truly track his hours. But what I can see are the changes he's making to the website, everything he's improving with the product descriptions and how much you know we're improving traffic to the website. Those are the things I measure. And now that I think about it, this is actually one of the first times I think I'm talking about this here at Real Men Real Style that I've launched Vitaman with my partner Claire. So the story is she's been in business for 20 years, making amazing natural grooming products out of Australia using Australia's natural ingredients. Some really cool stuff I'd never heard of before. I tried it and I was blown away. So much so that I reached out to Claire and I said, hey, we have to get you in the United States. More people need to know about this company and the products you're making. We need to be selling this stuff online because more men need to be because think about it, you're putting on this aftershave bomb, you're putting on that skin lotion, you're shampooing your hair, and oftentimes you're using all these nasty ingredients which aren't natural. Vitaman has you covered when it comes to shampoo. And what I love about their shampoos is that they've got, okay, first you got the face and body wash, yep, using natural materials, but we've got volumizing shampoo. So you got thin hair, we've got you covered. Moisturizing shampoo. So if you've got dry hair, we've got you covered. If you have oily hair, we've got you covered. And we've got, of course, conditioners that work with that. The shampoo shave gel. Love it. And what I love about so much, so the shave oil plus the shave gel with the aftershave balm, if you're dealing with nicks, if you're dealing with bumps after you shave, this combination is amazing. But it was this aftershave balm that really, with the first time I tried this, it uses this aloe. It goes right into the skin. It's incredibly clear. It doesn't feel sticky. I've tried so many bad aftershave balms and this one just blew all the other ones away. And gents, don't even get me started about the moisturizers. The face moisturizer, friggin' awesome. The body moisturizer, moisturizer. So, we've got guys that train for Ironman. They do a lot of swimming, biking, running, and they're showering multiple times. They're exposing their skin to a lot of rough stuff. And we've got people that swear by this. They buy like three to four bottles every single month because they're showering twice a day. Their skin's getting all red and rashed. They use this to calm down the rash and they love the natural products. Gents, I'm linking to my company, Vitaman, down in the description of today's video. I would appreciate it if you at least check it out and let me know. Give me feedback. Send me an email. Let me know, hey, Antonio, I would change this. I would improve this or I love what you're doing here. Don't stop. Now, these next four, I'm throwing them together because they're all interrelated and that is use a routine to manage your exercise, use a routine to manage your food intake, use a routine to manage your mood and use your routine to manage your mental health. So, that last one, incredibly important. I'm going to spend a lot of time on it, but let's talk about your exercise and your food. So, you had routines whether you knew it or not. Maybe you didn't plan them, but you had a set time that you had to be at work. You had a set time that you would probably go out to lunch with your friends. All of a sudden, that has been thrown out the window. Things have changed and it's very easy to miss your exercise time, to miss the time that you should actually eat a meal. You get busy with a project, you're in the zone. All of a sudden, you have skipped lunch and that pushes everything else back. You start missing your workouts. When you have a routine, you are actually following that. All of a sudden, you don't miss that workout because that workout is so important to that third point, which is your mood. The food and when you're eating is so important to your mood, getting the swings. Right now, a lot of you guys, the food you're eating may not be as healthy as it used to be because all of a sudden, you're not getting access 
access to all the fruits and vegetables. You used to have, you bought a lot of food that would maybe last longer. This can negatively affect your mood. Getting to that last point, a routine is key for mental health. Again, we talked about the very beginning, all that negative emotion, all that fear, it really tears down on your mental health. You need to be paying attention to it more than ever. I'm going to put some links down in the description to resources for mental health, isolation, and the feeling of loneliness. Human beings are social animals. Now, I think that's one of the big problems that's not being talked about that's going to emerge over the next few months is just simply human beings want to be around other human beings. So, pay attention to your mental health. One of the first things and the best things you can do is to simply recognize that you may have an issue or recognize that you may want to improve this because then if you understand this, if you spot it, you can ask for help, you can bring it up to others and there's no shame, guys, in asking for help for seeking advice when it comes to this. Now, I want to talk about daily routines and preventing burnout and preventing negative emotions from running into your family. So, preventing burnout. Guys, it is so easy when you work from home to not stop. You wake up, first thing you do is check your work email. It's 6 a.m. and you're already working. All of a sudden, your entire morning routine is being thrown off. Guys, you've got to have set hours in which you work. If you let that creep into your personal time, if you're not able to turn off and unplug, you want to have set hours, you want to be able to shut that computer off, you want to be able to turn off your phone. I know for me, when I'm relaxing with my family in the evening, that is our time. In the morning, I've got time with my wife. Now, the day, yes, that is to the pressing concerns of my company. But when I shut down my computer at 4 p.m., guess what? I'm not, I mean, yeah, I'm not worried about things. Understand that business has to go on without you. Yes, there's a lot of negativity out there, but don't fall into working 24 hours a day and all of a sudden just burn out because then you're not going to be of any use to anybody. Now, let's talk about the negative creeping into your family. So, if you've got a family, if you've got a partner, if you've got people you are around, you've got to understand that the negative emotions coming out of this, this can detrimentally affect your kids. It can affect your spouse and your wife. You need to be aware of this. It's going to happen. You're going to let some of it creep over. This happens to all of us. If you feel this explosion coming on, if you have anger issues, you want to be very careful with you know, being able to manage that. And that's where a schedule is so useful because if you know that, oh, by midday, you're going to be stressed out schedule a time to go. That's when you go for the scheduled walk. That is the time when you break away. You shut down the computer and you do a hundred push-ups. You go to your pull-up bar. You find a way to vent out that stress before you explode like a volcano. Now, I want to talk about taking advantage of the current situation versus the situation taking advantage of you. In one year, in two years, where do you want to be? It's so important when you've got that schedule, when you have that routine laid out, you know what this is leading towards, that you've got a big goal. During this time, I'm scheduling one hour in my schedule to start writing that novel, to start getting and working on that YouTube channel. I'm going to get started. To get started on whatever dream you may have, that career shift, you are spending that time. Build up over months, over weeks, over years, you can accomplish an amazing feat. Or what you're going to find in two years, if you don't schedule things out, if you just follow things haphazardly, you go along with you know whatever the current, you're going to find you've accomplished nothing, none of your big goals. And the time flew by and you are in no better situation than you were. Actually, you're in a worse situation than you were before the whole crisis started. I highly advise, gentlemen, you put together a detailed schedule and you've got, you know, go into the more detail, the better because this schedule right here is going to set you free. It actually is going to give you more freedom because you have the ability, you now have the time to focus in on the things that matter. So, what video to watch next? Well, let's talk about COVID-19, but in a positive light. Yeah, we're going to talk about the fear. We're going to talk about the chaos, but we're also going to talk about all the opportunities that are out there, the ability for you to change, to pivot, to go after your dreams while everyone else is, yeah, putting their head in the sand. No, you are going out there and you are making change for the better.